think one of the big takeaways here is, is if you want to understand neoliberalism and Cuomo as this prolific agent and persona of neoliberalism that, that stretches back a few decades now, when you think about them, you have to think about in terms of the gendered experience of capitalism. And part of what it means to think about the gendered experience of capitalism is to think about masculinity, to think about queer rivalries between white men who need to own one another as their primary sort of sustenance and gratification over their political duty or their sense of justice or their like responsibility to a larger public. And it goes further to say that when we talk about the gendered experience of capitalism, we should also think about the sort of eroticism of politics and that one of the things that capitalist inequality produces is it produces these situations of crisis in which people are continually baffled by the darkness that surrounds them, and they end up looking for those leaders. And on top of that, because they experience not only inequality in a gendered sense, not just a class sense, but in this gendered way, all of a sudden, certain kinds of sexual or erotic erotic dynamics start to rise up out of these inequalities. And so people turn not towards you know, the solutions that are on offer from the very logical socialist left. But what they end up doing is they they start to embed themselves and feel their way out of the crisis along these routes of desire that are channeled for them. And they end up kind of learning to love the very same figures who are uh, whipping them back. And, you know, to, to take it one step further, th- there must be a part of everyone that uh, gets pleasure from being on the bottom too, and so it doesn't mean you're a bottom <laughs> all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, you, but there's a there's a certain pleasure people take in being a political bottom, and so I think that I love you, daddy. You, I hate you, daddy. I love you, daddy. I hate you, daddy. Hurt right, me, and, pe- daddy. Pe- yep. and people want to flip it around sometimes, and I think that you know uh, that this this experience of capitalist inequality and capitalist mm. crisis, and these the realities of masculinity and desire are what also sustain the system. They're also how people like Clinton and Obama and Cuomo are elected to begin with. And I think that this means that at the end of the day, we can't divorce these histories and these crises and these sort of this horror show. We can't we can't divorce it from the lived experience of our bodies in this historical place and time yeah. as we experience our race and our gender and our class position, that these things are all both uh, reinforcing one another, but also in contradiction with one another. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you just you cannot divorce this class struggle against neoliberalism from these erotic attachments that are popping up out of the crisis as well. And I think that that's, for me, the theoretical takeaway here and what makes this story uh, so important for everyone to hear, not just people who have lived through it here in New York. 